I-28 male, found my GF-27 female, cheating on me the night I was going to propose. I'm at a loss on where to begin. So we've been dating for around 3.5 years at this point, met in college and reconnected and later dated. I had been working late all week since the company where I work is experiencing a busy season. But tonight, I worked especially hard to get out the door by 6.30 or so to propose to my girlfriend. The timing of my proposal had been on my mind, and I thought that last night was the best time since I couldn't wait till after the busy season was finished to pop the question. After I got out of the office, fortunately for me, I was the first phase to return, I proceeded to the best restaurant in town and picked up my takeout order. It was a terrific day. After dinner and my proposal, I even went out and rented the movie tenant for later that night. So I drove into the parking garage and entered the building. When it came time to unlock the door, I heard some fantastic music playing and imagined she was planning a surprise time for us both. I go inside the restaurant, put the takeout bags on the counter, and walk out the door. When I open it, there's a guy, her ex, she claims, pleasuring, in SFW language, my girlfriend on the other side. I had no idea what to make of the situation at the time. I anticipated today would be a regular day of being overworked for 65 hours a week at work, followed by a surprise visit from my wife at her house. To be quite honest, I have no recollection of what I said or did. All I remember is her saying, OMG, 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 you weren't supposed to come back, I'm sorry, blah blah blah, and then disappearing. The next thing I know, I'm in my car, driving over to my work partner's house, where I'll spend the next few hours weeping as I explain my complicated stay-at-home proposal idea. For the last weekend, he has graciously allowed me to sleep on his couch, and I have just now returned. Throughout the weekend, she had been harassing me on my phone, to the point where I eventually contacted her and told her, you need to be gone Monday, and then banned her number. Even for me, this was a serious situation, but I have zero tolerance for dishonest behavior. I'm in a lot of discomfort. After over four years with this girl, I feel like I've wasted my time and energy on her just for it to end in this manner. So it was the end of me. I've returned to my flat, and she's been beating on my door just demanding to talk with me, which I politely deny. She's had many of our mutual friends try to get me to communicate with her, an endeavor that I've likewise rebuffed. I just spent the majority of my cash on this ring, and I'm not sure what to do with it now. It's a bizarre situation. My lease is due to end, therefore I may just relocate and look for work in a different place. I simply can't bear the mental burden any longer. I'm quite aware that there wasn't a lot of organization here. Mostly just a rant, but I've been itching to scream, and this is the best I can come up with right now. Edit, you guys. It had not been expected that this level of support would be received. Once I got home from work, I phoned the jeweler and they agreed to let me return the item. In addition, I'm back at home, which is a welcome relief. Personal life-wise, I plan to move when my current lease ends in April and begin a new one in May. Thank you for taking the time to read my story. Story 2. My boyfriend keeps lying to me about cheating on me. Several days previously, when my partner 24 male had abandoned me in the apartment, I, 21 female, went to check on his laptop, which he had left unattended. When I accessed his Discord, I saw that he had been speaking with a number of other females, all of whom were inappropriately, but one in particular stood out. He had been this girl for months, sending her pictures and videos and everything else. He texted her a screenshot of his naughty pictures earlier in the morning, and she laughed. This was not the first time I had come upon anything like. A small number of women have contacted me through email and stated that he has been cheating on me, with one of them even offering proof. In order to see if I can find anything, I've been checking his phone continuously since then, whenever I have the opportunity, since he never leaves his phone out. When I do notice anything, he always has a good explanation for why it happened. The man has said to me that he's talking to a robot, or that when I went into his Discord, it was a friend of his using his account to connect with these females, and that he was sending images of his own penis to other girls in an attempt to set me up. My response to him was that it seemed ridiculous for him to call him. Within a minute of responding to this lady, 
and asked him to give him with a photograph of himself so that he could send it to this female. I pleaded with him to speak the truth, but he refused to do so. He claimed that he was trying to teach me a lesson by allowing me to see what he was looking for, since he knew I was checking so carefully to see if he's cheating. In his words, he has been cheated on before, and that he would never cheat on me again if that is the case. When he discovers the truth, he tells me how much he loves me, what his future plans for us are, how I'm the only woman who has met his family, and so on and so forth. I choose to stay with him because I am madly in love with him and had never imagined falling in love with someone so intensely. I think back on all of the wonderful moments I had with him. I would never do something that would jeopardize our friendship. I've just reached a point where I can't trust anything he says to me anymore, no matter how much I want to believe what he says. In his words, if you can't trust me, then maybe I'm not the right person for you. I'm starting to believe him. Is it possible to really trust and love someone after seeing or experiencing anything like this? Story 3. My boyfriend cheated on me and described it to me in detail. Hello, I'd been dating my ex, 19-year-old man, for around 10 months when he suddenly became really strange. In spite of the fact that he had been acting strange and distant for some time, whenever I sought to talk with him, he grew agitated, so I decided to give him some space. After years of online and long-distance dating, there was always a certain amount of fear and skepticism. But after such a lengthy period of time, I had entire faith in him and trusted him implicitly. Here's a little background information about our friendship. We met online via a mutual acquaintance and spoke as acquaintances for approximately two months before engaging in a meaningful discussion about our goals, desires, and aspirations, among other things. When I started to develop feelings for him, he revealed to me that he dreamed about a girl who seemed to be just like me. I was absolutely engrossed in the story. I've committed my whole life to this man and our bond with one another. On his birthday, I bought him numerous gifts, baked him fresh cookies that I brought in a package for Christmas, painted a portrait of him for Valentine's Day, and made him a priority in all I did. Although we had numerous disputes and he had done some questionable things, such as standing me up and yelling at me. I always forgave him because I actually cared about and loved him. Three months into our relationship, he confessed to having with his closest friend, and I became more assertive because I was afraid he was upset or that something had happened, and I didn't want him to suffer in silence. I asked him about it, and he went into great detail about how it was the first time he'd ever been inside someone and how he came to be within them. While I was composing this, I felt sick to my stomach. He told me that he was aware of what he was doing, despite the fact that he was intoxicated. At first, I was afraid that he had been mistreated or that he wasn't fully capable of making decisions at the time, but he later informed me that he had chosen to sleep with them that night. I sobbed uncontrollably for many hours. I approached him and asked if I could talk with his friend. We'd met before and had a brief conversation, but I didn't have their phone number. Neither I nor my boyfriend were outraged or shouting at them. All I wanted to do was ask them why and check if they had the same story as my boyfriend. He said that his friend was scared of me and that the whole group was terrified of me. Later that night, he told me that his friend had committed suicide as an act of sorrow for what had happened. I couldn't shake the feeling that it was my fault. I tried to explain that I wasn't angry and that no one had ever described me as scary or threatening before but they mistook my words for anger and made it seem as if I was provoking them. I honestly don't know whether or not this whole story is true since I've never met any of the people involved. Unfortunately, I forgave my boyfriend for the second time and remained in the relationship for another two weeks after that incident. His irritation with my inability to move on led to him accusing me of being too dramatic and emotional and telling me that I should put the incident in the rear view mirror. The Snapchat picture he provided was of his most recent message, which came from a contact named My Baby, which was obviously not me, and I was clearly in a state of chaos. My suspicions were confirmed when I asked him if he was cheating on me again, and he claimed it was his ex-girlfriend for whom he had forgotten to change his name despite the fact that they were still friends and still talked on occasion. Neither I nor my heart could bring myself to trust or forgive him anymore. I stopped my relationship with him and I'm still not sure whether I made the correct decision or not. 
All I want is some kind of release from this situation. What is the best course of action? What can I do to stop putting the blame on myself?